All right, so we're going to be unboxing two things today, the Microsoft Surface Keyboard and the Microsoft Ergonomic Surface Keyboard. And hopefully it will fix a long-standing problem with the Apple Keyboard, which is no numeric keypad, and uh, I could also use a few more function keys and whatnot. Uh, to finally get a wireless keyboard, uh, let's try not to eject things, a wireless keyboard <clears throat> with a numeric keypad has been a long dream. I was hoping Apple would do this. Yes. Another keyboard I'm going to try. I have a graveyard of keyboards. Uh, I've been hoping for this. The layout looks pretty close to the same, uh, which is good. Um, the control key here is in a different place with the function key, although that, that really doesn't look to be too bad. The alt key, which was really the option key on the Mac, um, and uh, looks like the command key are flipped. It's the Windows key there. With that, let's start with the regular Surface Keyboard. Move this big daddy out. Ow. So uh, this is how it came. It came in a, whatever, in a standard fedex -y box, but it comes in this little baggie. And um, it's a nice box, by the way. It looks like uh, uh, Microsoft is kind of upping its game to be more Apple-like in its... Uh, Boxing and unboxing experience. All right, solid box. As if, like, I don't know what this cult of boxes is. To I mean, I guess it's nice to open, but ultimately, who cares if the product is good or not? So interesting. So here's the here's this keyboard. You know, size wise, layout wise, it's pretty close, which is good. It's not wasting a lot of space here with kind of the standard. Uh, Apple keyboard plus the bit of additional um, off here on the side. You can already, let me tell you, you already feel a difference. So on the one hand, this bezel around is metal um, and it feels pretty nice and solid actually. Um, the bottom is plastic. Plasticky. Kind of feels a little cheaper, but you know what? Um, I'm kind of surprised that the metal is nice. Uh, it's a little dark, uh, darker than I was expecting. I was hoping to be a little lighter to go with the decor uh, I have. But on the other hand, it matches, uh, decently matches the aluminum of my desk. So I guess uh, we'll see. We'll see how it works. Anyway, on the back side, I'm not sure. Looks like it comes with a little booklet that I really don't care about. Uh, the booklet looks more or less useless. It's a keyboard. If you need instructions, We've got other issues, I suppose. All right, it says uh, pull this. And so already an interesting difference. This has, uh, looks like two AAA batteries. So you could use rechargeables, I guess, uh, to power this. Um, different than kind of the, the rechargeable nature of the Apple keyboard with the lightning port. All right. That's powered up. It seems to be blinking. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, curious if I could do this here. So there is a button here. I don't know if you can see that. And you're supposed to hold this for three seconds to pair it. One, 100, two, 100, three, 100. All right. And it's asking to pair again. Asking me to type in a number. All right. And I'm typing hello world. Obviously I'll have to try this longer term, but, and yeah, the alt does work as that. I guess you could remap those two. Uh, function key, I like actually this feature a lot. You can see it, it works like caps lock where you tap it and it flips. That's a great feature. And the control key here. So overall, uh, the initial impressions are looks decently solid, looks pretty, um, feels like a quality product. Somehow the plastic is not quite as nice, and if uh, you have a tool to remap these, I think you're going to be in good shape. Um, particularly this, and you can see the command key being a lot bigger uh, makes a difference for again those that use these. You won't know until you know give it a good try. But uh, yeah, the initial, the initial um, 
impression is the hardware seems to be good the layout is generally good the only feel issue I can see propping up really um, well if you use control and you expect it in a certain place uh, that might be an issue if you use it frequently uh, I do not but the command key not being right next to the spacebar and not being a bit bigger could be an issue uh, because I do use those command keys uh, for copying and pasting. Is it something you can learn and pick up? Um, possibly. Um, and at the very least, I could see remapping the Alt and the, and the Windows key. I wonder how easy it is to pry these chiclets off and, and reposition, reposition them when they're remapped as well. Anyway, overall, a big I don't know. Uh, <laughs> only use and time would tell if it, if it works. Um, I have a suspicion that this may meet my junk drawer of many keyboards past. Uh, I don't know what it will take for Apple to just release a freaking wireless keyboard with a numeric keypad. But until then, I will keep trying. The ergonomic keyboard, which I've clearly wasted my money on. Alrighty, so this bad boy. Let's take a look. It is big. So, hope you have lots of free desk space available. It's a nice box. Again, so if that means anything. Oops, not so much for that nice box. Come on. Apparently, when you get the color Alcantara, Al Alcantara, uh, like fine Corinthian leather. Except out of polyester. Out of polyester. There we go. A lot of little cushion here. That's nice. Good box. And uh, let's take a look at this. That is quite a hefty. I don't even know if I can get this. There we go. That is quite a hefty piece of um, curved aluminum or aluminium. Uh, for the Johnny Ive fans there. Man, that is, it's really nice, and it, uh, the color matches. It's really gray, but it kind of goes with uh, the uh, aluminum of my desk. So, not too bad. Ooh, this is kind of luxurious. Oh, wow. I gotta say, this feels way nicer than I thought it would. It seems to be pretty much identical with um, with this little guy here. So let's, uh, let's compare and see if there's anything that's really different. I tend to doubt it. Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, these keys are actually bigger on the bottom. So oddly, it may make a difference, even though they're more vertically lengthened uh, than they are here. So you could see the Alt key here is quite a bit more vertically long than the alt key here. Same thing here, actually. It feels very, for some reason, plasticky, unlike the kind of cold aluminum. It must be a different grade of the Apple device. Uh, it has a downside, too, by the way. I don't know if you could see, but I dropped uh, something on it, and it has a nice metal ding in it. This somehow feels different. Maybe it's because it's hot. I don't know what it is. It's somehow aluminum that feels more plastic. See, it's not on, but it's it's sticking on, and it just latches magnetically. That's a really nice touch. I kind of dig that. Good for Microsoft. So this is blinking again. Let's pair this one up. So I'm guessing the protocol is the same. You hold this for three seconds, and this starts blinking in a different pattern, and it came right up on my screen, and it's asking me to pair, and it's up. So, well, I've never really been into ergonomic keyboards, but I gotta say this 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 bit of Alcantara really feels nice. It's um, I think there's more to it than gimmick. It's um, somehow relaxing. Yeah, you get used to it pretty quick. The throws again, uh, the same consistency as the other Surface Book. Uh, excuse me, Surface um, keyboard, a little bit stiffer. You know, oddly with the curve here, the copy and paste kind of work out to be similar. Yeah, I could actually see that working better. 
Yeah, so that's not intuitive. Pretty decently to the bottom of this keyboard. Here you can see the, the, the mound, right, that, that it's lifting, that it's um, creating. You're looking for a wireless keyboard with a numeric keypad. These are not bad options. Give it a chance long term, but the ergonomic keyboard, the issue with the standard keyboard, in that the standard keyboard uses a very small key here for the Windows and all, whereas those on the Mac, a nice big command key. Um, one, these keys are bigger because they're vertically longer, so it gives you a better target. But also, thumb seems to naturally flow and hit this Windows key a lot more easily, acting like the Apple command key. Anyway, hope this helps in retrospect my guesses. I'm going to give these a try. I'm probably not going to end up using them. I haven't found any really good remapping software that works cleanly uh, as I like. So one other quick addendum, and I found a, a pretty big problem with these Microsoft keyboards is when you don't use them continually typing on them and you let them rest for a minute or even seems sometimes like 15 seconds, the keyboard goes to sleep and then it takes one or two presses to wake it up with the Mac before it starts typing. That's completely annoying and something you don't experience on the Apple keyboard really at all. So, yeah, another set of keyboards going into my drunk drawer. My drunk drawer? Even my junk drawer. The drunk drawer is a different drawer altogether. So this is not a winner, unfortunately. Had a lot going for it, though. Um, as always, your mileage may vary. Thanks.